we've got we've got one more thing to take a look at before uh, before tonight ends. Keemstar got exposed for being a part of the alt right. He's a Nazi, and what and none fuck? other. Nobody had the courage to speak out about this other than Yo Mama. Evil Lord Mimulus and his simp, I'm Alex, challenged the legendary Super Chad, Brody and his friends. But little did they know, Zach James would upload Mimulus's <laughs> mom to Pornhub. Now, with Mimulus defeated, who will your mama take on next? Find out now on Yo Mama. Yo Mama. This is real. This is a real exposed <laughs> video, by the way. Holy shit. Now, before we continue, I just want to clarify. I just want to give you guys a little bit of a heads up on what you're going to see from this. You're going to see Ethan Ralph, Gamergate, Vosh, Tommy C, and Nick DiOrio. You're going to see a lot of familiar faces, so just stick with me right here. Could you have guessed from the 30-second intro that you were going to see all of that? This next thing is no longer going to be as funny as I thought it would be. Nope, uh, the jokes are about to stop because... This whole Keemstar YouTuber roast episode has taken some crazy twists and turns. Things that I thought I was never going to talk about. And it sucks too because I had this whole gag figured out. I have a shirt on my shirt because Alex had Gucci on his Gucci. And then I got some wine right there. I was basically- This is what drugs does to you. Jesus outfit and say like, look at me, I'm like the how Jesus he just, like, mentions the irrelevant and stuff that, like, nobody- He's all over the place. And then it's, uh, the autism and stuff like that. And then By the way, I'm not making a joke. He actually says- I'm pretty sure he says this later in the video. Zach's number one thing that he likes to say, he said this in, like, a Twitter argument with, uh, Ethan, like, over and over again. He always says, as an autistic man, as an autistic man, an autistic man did this. Like, he always mentions he's autistic. I was going to make jokes about Keemstar's news. It's not being good news. He's not good at doing the news. But he really fucks up a lot of shit as a news person. Uh, the Anision interview, for example, was really interesting. So Keemstar came in rushing, wanting to make his money on Anision really quick, messed up the interview, and that that seemed to be it, right? That was I it. like how well, he says he just no. messed up the interview as if it's a fact. Yo, he <laughs> messed up the interview. Dude, the, he, he messed it up, bro. There was actually why? Uh, oh, oh, I can King tell Star you. Keemstar in Anision, <laughs> I'd like to ask a few weeks later, went was. on a podcast called Killstream. And during this podcast, Keemstar floats a rumor heavily floats, heavily promotes a rumor, and the rumor was about this YouTuber named Repsion, who has heavily covered Onision over the years. There is a rumor going around, and I want to know if you've heard this rumor, and again, this I'm not saying that this is true, this is not an accusation at all, I'm saying I just heard that Repsion himself started dating his current girlfriend when she was very young, oh, it's possibly this one. before well, she was at the legal age, by saying she... It's not an accusation this is a rumor so it seems like a very similar situation is going on possibly over with repsion and he's for years been calling you a groomer and everything else i'm sure keemstar and repsion must have gotten to the facts at some point right you as a news person don't just throw out rumors and then never get to the facts not really but what, what well, is the point here let's go let's, let's get a point you're just asking a question is it true that your current girlfriend was a fangirl underage and yes yeah, see he's doing the research right now he's no asking. he's literally that, asking. That, she watched my content that, there's a oh, seven year oh, difference oh, She's 22 right now. I'm 28. Get the fuck out of did here. Did you know what? that I did you know that I blocked her? We used to never talk. You're trying to prove that I'm like I had some relations with somebody who's underage. That's ridiculous, Wait, dude. So at age 19. Do you want me to bring hey hey, do you want me to bring her on live right now and talk to the camera and say, yes, I was of age, Keemstar. Do you want me to? I'll go get her right now. So we wanted to do something different. We wanted to go directly to Repsy on ourselves and ask him the questions that Keemstar didn't want to ask. What the hell? Get right into the facts. Repsia, did you groom your girlfriend? No, Jesus. absolutely not. When we first started talking on Vlog TV, she jumped into my stream and announced her Vlog love TV for me and that she was up. deemed to marry me. <laughs> really? The moment she told me she was 12 years old, I'm like, uh, screw off. Wow. She blocked me and then I blocked her. Okay, but when did you unblock her? Years go by and then she's this animated? her love for me yet again. Here's Brody. At the right age. Interesting. Hey, when did you first talk? We started talking when she was 18 and then we eventually met in February of 2018. Oh. 
He was 19 at the time, and I was 25. Thank you, Repsion. Now back to you, Zach. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. How did we, the Your Mama channel, do a better job of reporting the facts than Keemstar? We're the well, Your Mama channel. Because Keemstar wasn't cut, it didn't cover the story on Drama Alert, to be fair. It was just Keemstar owned Flash. Epic Compilation. <laughs> Damn. This is so weird. I'm just like I'm I'm having like a fever dream right now just looking at this, you know? Dude, the Yo Mama channel. <laughs> out of every channel. I don't think this would be like honestly, I yeah. don't think we really well, we might be talking about this if it just wasn't the Yo Mama channel. But what makes it funny, what makes this whole thing like insane to me, is it's the four million sub animated your mo yo mama channel who's never made a drama video in his life, and he just comes out of the woodwork, he's like, you know what? How to make time yo mama jokes for the last decade. It's time to yeah, it's time to drama. step it up a notch. Off with Ethan Ralph of the Kill Stream. This just does not make any sense. Like, like the Yo Mama animated channel is going into IBS. Oh my God, bro! <laughs> I had put out a bunch of feelers. I had sent out some messages. I said, "Hey, I'm, I, I want up to date information on Keemstar." And then I got two phone calls that would change everything. He knows this about these people. He knows these are white nationalists. He knows these are racist people. Now, and do you know who this is? Because it's been confirmed who this is. Wait a minute now. What does that voice sound like? Obviously, it's a voice modifier, right? Yes. But like, who but could do that? You know who that is? Oh, let me just let me just do a little a little live digging right now. Hold on now. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> whoa, 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 Calm down. Relax, bro. By the way, that's Ian Miles Chung in Brody Fox's video using a voice changer. So many tells in that one. We'll explore that tonight as well. Wait a minute now. <laughs> Bo Blax. Bo Blax. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I might take the VOD down for this one. <laughs> Why is he using a voice changer? Why can't you just talk face to face? What's going on? Yeah, so there's something that a lot of people don't know about Team Star, and that's that he's armed he and dangerous. Uh, with a he has a lot of cocaine in his house. <laughs> he has connections <laughs> to the all right. A lot of really shady underground, far right white nationalist people. Oh my online, god! And he does it mostly through under the guise of this. Uh, this kill Wait, screen. your mama guy's yeah, spreading rumors up. right now. Wait a minute. Whoa! Did Wait, your mama ask him? Wait, I thought he only reported on facts, not Did he did he ask him to come on the show? Wait a minute now, hold on. Wait, I thought he reported where they facts, regularly not post actual anti-Semites, white nationalists, and Holocaust deniers. And it seems to be a constant theme on the show. And Keemstar has been on several shows with some of these white nationalists, including Richard Spencer, who coined the term alt-right. Richard Spencer is an American neo-Nazi anti-Semitic conspiracy theorist. I love and this white image. <laughs> Yo mama. Keemstar uses the alt-right to attack H3. Richard Spencer. Oh Description my Wikipedia god. on screen. Now, if you don't know what the alt-right movement is, let me explain it to you. I think when people hear alt-right movement, they think Nazis. And that's somewhat true. But in recent years, it seems to have evolved to include an extreme conservative viewpoint that just rejects mainstream politics and instead uses online media to spread controversial content. Now, I'm not accusing Keemstar of being a Nazi. It seems to me that you can be in the alt-right movement and not be a Nazi. And, and even then, Keemstar will deny that Nazis exist today. I really don't understand why people on Twitter call other people Nazis. 2019, there are no Nazis. Sure, there might be a few thousand on this planet of seven billion people. <laughs> but let's be honest. When's the last time you seen a Nazi walking down the street? <laughs> Crying, laughing about Richard Spencer, a neo-Nazi, is a regular guest on this alt-right hosted podcast. As recently as of this year, Keemstar guest stars on the podcast. And Keemstar has guest star on this podcast multiple times. Yes, the same thing. Wait, wait, wait. That so we... does that mean everybody who's guest starred on the kill stream is all right and not? Oh, uh, uh, Twitch, 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 I I disavow. <laughs> I'm not, you know, Nick wait, uh, Nick the... Diorio? Boogie? Destiny? D oh, Nazi? Wait, Vosh was on the kill stream once. Wait. What? Wait, Wait, Nazi? Wait. It's not like uh, Keemstar was in the same stream as Richard Spencer. Oh, yeah, right? and it's also not like when Keemstar went on, he was just like, all right, guys, 
Nazis. White America, kick them out. You know, it's not like he's yeah. going like, he keeps never, never went on there to talk about politics. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just went on there to talk about drama. Like, it's not like Keemstar just went on there. He's like, okay, here's the 14 word. You know, <laughs> he didn't do that. It's not how it worked. He just came on there to talk about, like, drama or whatever. Yeah, we need to tell a pedophile right to their face that they are one, right? <laughs> Well, you need to fucking have some powers of that word, so you don't fucking. That's why you don't say the N word. And wait, what? Well, <laughs> wait, what? I have no fucking clue what I would just said. Would you call a pedophile the N word on ECN? Would you <laughs> call appropriate, yeah. Wait. I'm, I really need you to take a step back here. And <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, wait, he would call a pedophile the N-word if it was appropriate. We gotta take a step back I mean, here. I mean, I guess it's bad to say That's the N-word, but also it's a pedophile, so I don't why does he? Why does he say this shit like, Oh, yes, take a step back. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. Okay. Because if you think Kingstar is dangerous... I, 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 I'm a person that believes in revenge. I think if someone fucks you over in any shape or form, destroy him. Like, I've always felt that way. The people behind Killstream, the people that Kingstar is associating himself with, are just as dangerous dangerous if not more dangerous are you threatening because to dox my girlfriend and oh whoa 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 oh, and whoa. I, Dude, I think i think and he's so legitimately just threatening shit. to dox and my girlfriend so, you know what talk that shit you're threatening to dox my girlfriend yeah, killstream is a podcast who's hosted by this man named ethan ralph <laughs> Now, some of you may know Ethan Ralph. Others, probably most of you don't. As game developer Brianna Wu writes on the Daily Dot, like many women in the game industry, I've been doxxed by Ralph multiple times. However, Keemstar really <laughs> likes Ethan. And I, personally, I really like this show called The Kill Stream. The whole <laughs> idea of the show is to basically have people with extreme views. And Do you remember when I said the other day that there's like not a single day I can go without hearing the word Gamergate? It happened again. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> line out in the chat. Yo mama, so <laughs> Gamergate. <laughs> Taking Brianna Wu. Come on and debate these extreme views and opinions. Uh, yeah, but it's extreme on both like, okay. ends. It's extreme on both ends. Yeah. You have like crazy lefties and crazy rights. Crazy whites? What are you saying? Right. <laughs> the end of degeneracy. We'll probably comment about that. Too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Extreme debate. Paul Ramsey and Collar who sports Richard Sp Spencer. Wait, okay. this is a recent episode. This is like the other night when Nick was on. Wait. Richard Spencer is not hashtag alt right. Okay, 2016. Literally everyone was saying this. I'm pretty sure like Chris Raygun was like defending Richard Spencer back then because nobody knew who the hell he was. They just thought he was just some, you know, like not... <laughs> You know, you know the clip where he's at like Charlottesville and he's screaming about how we rule the world or something like that. They didn't think he was that. All right, let me just put it that way. Yeah, that didn't happen yet, right? The no, it was 2016. Yeah, I don't know when it happened. That was like 2017, right? Yeah, that was not a crazy opinion to have back then. Yeah, but the people watching shows. this, I guess, won't know. Oh, this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. Listen to this. It's a hospital that uh, uh, you know has a lot of uh, Jewish backing, and what? Uh, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a hospital. Dude, what does he include that part? Way, Okay, so like the Killstream raised money for the uh, hospital, right? There's like no reason to bring up that has Jewish backing, right? <laughs> why like, is he? Yeah, why is he talking about that? Is like, you in here is like, oh, it has Jewish backing. I can't believe the Killstream would support Jews. Like, what? wait, like, I, what? whoa, 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 whoa. What are you saying, Ian? Well, I guess what, what he's saying is like, oh, these these Nazis are. What? What is the? What? I can't even think why you would bring that up. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't know. It's just so random. <laughs> it's so weird. It's St. Jude's, not St. Jude's. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Dude, Your ready. money, we don't want you. <laughs> Your money. Like it or not, $26,000. Well, why is Nick here and Tommy? What, the, what is this video? The huge Dude, number Rick, don't need two. Dude, Andy Worski? A charity that brings in millions of dollars a day, hundreds of millions over a year. $26,000 just to piss off everybody else. And then Keemstar defended the live stream when it was taken down. But I also understand where the kill stream's coming from. They just want to create a place where you can have freedom of speech. Keemstar is always tweeting at the guy. The guy's always tweeting at him. They're always defending each other. I mean, these guys are like good buds. Dude, well, I have a, a few tweets. They must be good friends, dude. Who cares? Like okay yeah and so Ke keemstar is nice to a person who hosts a show that is willing to have literally any type of person on with any type of view okay oh uh, youtube you it's so terrible support support God, support. yeah i don't think when keemstar said his support group he was talking about the kill stream i don't think he was talking no. about that <laughs> just a hunch what is this but, uh, susan wojcicki 
And I think this may be his little video where he's like, Hey, Susan, you know, your Keemstar guy's on your platform. You know, you want to get rid of him, right? How did he get famous in the first place? This is what I was saying. Oh, this is the show that I was on the other day. Look, I was never... Yeah. Shit. Good luck, Ethan, because you're going to fucking need it. Anyone who doesn't realize we now live in an anti-white reality is an idiot. <laughs> and then he also has this thing okay. called the Ralph Retort. And the Ralph Retort is an alt-right block, which is what Keemstar follows. Far-right conspiracy theorist kills own father for calling him a Nazi and racist. Ralph Retort, the alt-right blog that published Lane's work almost daily, has also Damn. distanced itself from him. He did his research from this one. Now, you might be going, okay, that's just one crazy guy who just believes in crazy conspiracy theories. Well, Keemstar also seems to be a crazy guy who believes in conspiracy theories. What? Drug companies invent all these illnesses so they could sell drugs to morons. Social anxiety, 100%, is a fake invented illness. So they can it sell you drugs fear. and make millions. Stop being weak. Society is literally going to die if you keep this bullshit up. Birds of the same feather tend to flock together. And if Keemstar is hanging out with you and you don't have as many subscribers, if not more than him, well, then he's hanging out with you for a different reason. This week on the alt-right with Andy. <laughs> <Play>. Nice. <laughs> okay, so Keemstar's only hanging out with Ethan. This is like half an exposure right. on Ralph and the other half is on Keem, but he, like, he ties Keem into it while going in on Ralph. It's just so weird. And unfortunately, no one else has covered this. It's not in Content Cop. It's not in any of the vlogs from other YouTubers. Why, why do you think it's not in Content Cop? What do, do you think? 2016? It's not even in the new H3H3 video. What I want to do with this Dude, video... Dude, what if H3 makes a part 3 with this info in it? I Dude. would die, bro. I would laugh my ass off. I would laugh my ass off. That would just Dude. be promotion for Ralph. It would give I mean, so much promotion for Ralph. Like, I mean, what's going to happen? Not... He's going to get kicked off YouTube again? He doesn't even have one, so... Yeah, like... This video, Ralph, isn't like that much promotion because, like, even though this is a four million sub channel, his views are fucking garbage. Yeah, so. twenty six thousand. <laughs> I know, right? The fucking your mama guy, the your mama guy, the autistic your mama guy. How did the autistic your mama guy end up being the one that breaks? I'm autistic, this? by the way. And if you vote for Obama, you can't be part of the alt right movement. Uh... I feel like Kimster just votes for the popular guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Keemstar has here's the here's the thing that people always misconstrue about Keemstar. He doesn't have like he doesn't care about politics. Like his ideas are very basic Republican talking points. Like, but he doesn't really care. He doesn't like he doesn't care about politics, you know, to that extent. So when it, I always see people try to expose Keemstar for being of a certain political view, I'm just like, man, Keemstar doesn't care. He just says what he just says whatever he wants. Trump greater than liberals. <laughs> Oh my god. He's probably saying that because Trump's gonna win. <laughs> Trump was gonna win 2016. Matter of fact, he loves Trump so much, he hates liberals, he hates social justice warriors, he thinks people with mental illnesses are lying, he's sexist, he's racist. I'm aware that he's Team Star is- Wait, awesome. rate? Oh, he's gonna play Alex, I guess? I don't know. I think he's a piece of shit, but he's not a dumbass. He knows he has an image that he has to protect. It's the image of being the bad guy. See, the stuff that you delete tells me that you are smart enough to know that this would bite you in the ass really hard. Infamous YouTuber Soph, aka Sewer Nugget, replied to a deleted oh Keemstar tweet where he called Soph a dog and asked her if she was interested in supporting his cause to spread this guy Nazis. Is Bush that say what? That what? what? This is 2016. That was when Soph was Lieutenant Corbis. So this is 2016 when Soph was Lieutenant Corbis. The person who posted that post is probably lying about what the deleted tweet was. It was yeah. Because, like, Soph wasn't into that stuff back then. And she was on Drama Alert to talk about, like, her rise as a young commenter. I would like to read out a tweet from Brody Fox, aka Yo Mama. Yeah. It says, Do we live in a South Park episode? Disavowed isn't a Harry Potter spell that magically exempts you from all responsibility. The fuck? Disavowed. <laughs> About a man who's involved in a charity with Mr. Beast. And look, I'm not trying to say Mr. Beast is a bad person. He's not a bad person. I say he made a bad judgment call. Because every oh, time you do something like that, you give Keemstar more influence, who then gives somebody like Ethan Ralph more influence, who then gives somebody like Richard Spencer more influence. Dude, the pipeline. <laughs> there is an influence dude, transaction Dude, the happening. Mr. Beast pipeline, dude. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 hold on now. A Mr. Beast fan could be a fan of Keemstar, who could be a fan of Ralph, who could be a fan of Richard Spencer. Oh my god, Mr. Beast is promoting Richard Spencer, dude. Whoa. It's a pipeline, bro. You have freedom of speech, but that doesn't mean freedom of consequences. 
<laughs> Dude, my mind is blown right now. I think right people now. have a right to know these facts. And we as a collective- <laughs> Now we know a Mr. Beast wanted more trees. Oh, no! Uh, can decide if there are consequences. Or you can decide to continue giving people like Richard Spencer a voice. We're coming back here like a fucking hundred times! Like calling Ethan Ralph alt right is a stretch, but then like trying to like stretch that over to Keemstar through him is just like. And oh, then Mr. Beast is in there for no reason. And Mr. Beast. Yeah, dude, this Mr. is literally. Beast. Bro. This is literally what drugs looks like. Yeah, this why, whole video. Why it, wait, why does the pipeline stop like right before Mr. Beast? He's like, I don't think Mr. Beast is a bad guy no, or a uh, bad guy. Not a bad guy. Why? If you think Keem's well, a bad guy. Well, I guess it's like, for, as long as there's mean, like three levels of separation, you're fine. You're in the good yeah, books, yeah, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the world fucking works. Little fucking they get ruled by people like me. Fucking good thing he clipped that part out. I was a little worried for my touch. <laughs> He sounds like such a fucking idiot in this clip. <laughs> He's like, so, like, it sounds like a spur. <laughs> Who unironically talks like this when they're pissed off? You know what I mean? Fucking white, I run this world. You're black, you're my slave. <laughs> what the? What is that edit? What is that clip? Whoa! Okay, that Keem voice clip is like a joke. He plays it next to the the Richard Spencer one. I just think it's so. Holy shit. Oh I think if someone God. fucks you over in any shape or form, destroy him. You cannot deny the fact that it's sad that the Yomama champ has more self-awareness, no, more emotional don't. intelligence, you have no and more integrity. Bro. That is a fucking joke. I as an autistic man cannot bend my integrity or break it just to make a joke. Which why do, why what does you being autistic have to do with that? Nazi. He really brings this up a lot. Dude, he's really proud of that, dude. And I mean, I'm proud of it too, but like, I'm not gonna fucking bring it up every Dude, every YouTube second. video, you're just it like, no I, sense. as an autistic YouTube commentator. As an autistic man, I make so why are you this talking statement about this? to you guys yeah. today. Keemstar is such a dirty little yeah, I'm interrupting this because one, we cannot post this on YouTube, and two, it's not a Yo Mama joke. It is a Kame Star joke. We're no longer limited by Yo Mama joke. We're only limited by how much of a joke you are. We also well, put you're this clearly video not limited to Yo Mama jokes based on that video. He did upload the animation to Newgrounds, and I don't recommend showing it for tw on Twitch because uh, why? Ethan shits Keem out of his asshole. Nice. Uh, so <laughs> I don't know if that would get you <laughs> good, banned. It's, yo, it's good a reason. cartoon. It's a cartoon, to be fair, but I don't know if cartoon anus is allowed. On good one, bro. Well, listen. After watching this video, I had no idea what the alt right was. I had no idea what even uh what what Nazis were, but after watching this video, I'm, I, I think I, I did some a little research like while we were watching it on stream, and I've now been exposed to the alt right. And Brody Fox, unfortunately, he's radicalized me through the process of this video. <laughs> I've fallen through the pipeline, did the yo, ma actually, yo mama like, pipeline, dude. I heard Richard Spencer, and I was like, actually, I agree. I was dude. like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, I'm just, yeah, I mean, if there's a pipeline there, then uh, <laughs> I don't know. I can't uh, wait for hit Brody on Twitter to call us alt-right. RFC is alt-right. Oh my god. RFC After Hours is a live trending issues and entertainment broadcast with co-host Bo Blacks, broadcasted every weekday, Monday through Friday, starting at 6.30 p.m. Central. The show is for entertainment purposes only. All chat messages and donations read are the words of the original messenger, and certain viewpoints expressed do not reflect that of myself or Bo Blacks.